Jim and I met, actually our kids were sledding at a, at a park, and then we found out our children were going to go to the same school, and the friendship really started right there. And then as I got to know Jim, he introduced me to what he was doing called Jelt. That morphed into a little iguana. We did a lot of parades together. He had me, whether it be in the costume or handing out t-shirts and uh, bumper stickers. We saw the response of the crowds, especially the kids when the characters showed up. When you're in the suit and you're, you see all the kids running up to you and, and they want to take your picture, it, it's silly, but you tend to smile, which is, a, which is a foolish thing because no one can see you smile inside the head of the suit. It is important at a young age to get these lessons and these ideas. With it being in song, the kids pick up that song. The kids remember. My, my dad passed away at Alzheimer's, he's 90, but he would hear a song that he knew even when he was a child, and he would start to mouth the words, uh, whereas he would respond to very little else. So these songs, it is important. It's a universal message that I think can, uh, the kids remember versus just being told. What I'm excited about is the number of people that have joined into the nonprofit. It's really nice to see the different talents that have come that believe in, in this program, that believe in this character and the messages it sends, because that's what it's gonna take to bring it to the next level. It's a cliche, but if it can help save even a child, then that's really what the goal has been all along. Jim and Lori and the family, I just give them so much credit for hanging with it for so long. It's been a privilege and an honor to be involved with Little Iguana from the very beginning.